Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. How did the opera on you, Nuggers? Welcome to Late Hours. I think this is part 11, I guess. So, basically, off work. <laughs> Got in trouble today. <laughs> Got caught on my cell phone trying to find where to go so they upset with that so i gotta hear this bs tomorrow but it is what it is it is what it ain't it is what it is you know can't choose so today i was i caught an interesting take on undisputed james wiseman talks to um he's being mentored outside of the warriors also by um kevin durant and kyrie Irving. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are trying to, you know, give them pointers, especially Kevin. Kevin knows how the systems ran in Golden State, and, you know, he wants to help the young fella get better. And, you know, he's known the young fella since, you know, because you got to remember, these kids go to camps. They're going to the KD camps. They're going to the Kobe's and Bronze and all of their camps. So they're going to talk to these players to basically get some pointers. And I don't see nothing wrong with that. And and Skip always loved to bring this lie up. Well, if this was Michael Jordan, it ain't Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan used to give pointers to everybody. <laughs> Michael would give pointers. Now, Michael wasn't going to befriend. You know, he wasn't going to befriend. Like, Michael would befriend guys. And then he would find out what they like, what they love to do, how much they can hold their liquor, you know, basically sizing them up. So then when he gets on the court, he'll kill you. You know, Michael will take you out, have you partying, and then the next game, you dead tired. Michael over there, he does this. He done had like two, he done had a stogie and a couple drinks. He good. He finna go out on that court and destroy you. Michael was a very was a freak of nature. So Skip with all these lies, it's like, bruh, Michael Jordan, you keep on, you keep making this stuff up. Michael Jordan would help and talk to guys, especially from North Carolina. He would give guys pointers. Now Mike, now Mike would just go on the court and destroy them, but dude, you thought for years him and Kobe weren't close. You thought, oh, Kobe's his competition. He worried. He ain't worried about Kobe. You fans are the only ones worried about. Man, Mike and Kobe was sitting back chilling. Who do you think taught Kobe the the, the fade away and all those stuff? It was him. Kobe took the man game and elevated it. He took it somewhere where we never thought we could see it. So, you know, that's the thing. Kobe was taking his moves. He would use his moves, but he majority, the majority, he would take other people's moves. The only reason you idiot fans didn't know because you're so in love with Michael Jordan, you think that's the only guy he copied. He patterned his game after him, but that's not the only guy he copied. He done copied everybody's moves. He done copied Dirk moves. Kobe was a jack of all trades, a master of none. <laughs> he could do whatever on the court. So for Skip to make this notion that Wiseman talking to Kevin Durant, what is that going to do? Kevin Durant is not a punk like LeBrownies. If LeBrownies was talking to Wiseman, then he'll try to he don't care. LeBron, he's only mess with people if it benefits him. You understand? Michael, he don't care. Michael don't care if you know what he's doing. You had to stop it. Everybody knew Michael was going to post you up, fade away, or he was going to pull up here. You couldn't stop it. Everybody knew what Kobe was going to do. You couldn't stop it. Everyone knows like it everyone knows what you're going to do but can you stop it? You have to understand. 
this is the way the game is played. These guys look up to these guys, and they just wanted pointers. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Like, Skip, like, well, I'm old school. Well, I see something wrong with it. Well, you see something wrong with it because you want the Nets to win, and you don't want this to decide your... The Nets are focused. <laughs> the Nets are fine. The only problem that we have with the Nets is health. That's it. And how KD's going to look when he gets back. That's it. You you worried about the wrong thing. You know, you a sucker just like you was for that Rappaport thing. You all buying into it. It's like, dude, this dude's a clown, Skip. Stop it. <laughs> Y'all just trying to beat down KD because KD is, is the easy target. I've never seen a man hated so much, <laughs> so much for nothing, for just being a great basketball player. Everyone mad at him because he went to Golden State. So what? That's that man's career. If he wanted to go to Golden State, he could go. If he wanted to bring people to his team, you guys never get mad at LeBrownies. LeBrownies the only one who can stack his deck. But if he brings somebody on the team, and I keep telling you what he did was different. LeBron, he's practically what he did was coerce everybody to come to Miami. Him and Wade Ben had this plan. But instead of Bosch, it's supposed to be Carmelo Anthony. You guys don't like Kevin Durant because Kevin Durant speaks his mind. And he don't care. He says, F the media. I do not like you, mother effers. Because I don't blame them. Because they're fickle. They have to be fickle so they can get the story. So they can get the best story possible. But I don't see nothing wrong with him teaching Justin Wise. I mean, teaching Wiseman. You know why he's teaching Wiseman? Because Wiseman tired of Draymond. Draymond always cussing him out and yelling at him to do this, man. Wiseman like, man, F you, dog. You barely putting up 10 points. Dude, you at least could be putting up 15 or 20. You ain't doing that. So I see why Wiseman went to talk to Kevin Durant. And plus... Kevin Durant could help him with his post game and how to work around the post. So that's good for Wiseman to do, man, because that's only going to make him better. And that's the facts. It makes him better. It makes him a better basketball player. Curry's just teaching. I mean, KD's just teaching him. I don't really see... Draymond being Draymond can teach the game, but Draymond's personality is going to rub certain people the wrong way. Wiseman is very laid back. He's chill mode. You know, him and KD would fit talking to one another because KD's laid back. He's laid back. Kyrie laid back, but Kyrie will talk. Kyrie will say his his piece. But that just that just pissed me off, man. It's like you can't do nothing without the media. Like, man, look at what he's doing here. He's not supposed to do that. <laughs> it's always something. It's just like um, I got already, man. It's just like that movie I watched. I can't think of the name of it, but you have to stay strong. You have to work on your game, and you have to be able to get along with your coach. If you're not getting along with your coach, you're in trouble. But like I said, um, you got to understand. You got to understand it's, um, I mean, it is what it is. This is new era. But I understand what Skip's saying. Skip is like, man, don't help him right now. Like, But the Warriors ain't no threat. I don't see the Warriors, when Clay get back, we'll actually see what they could do. But it's going to take Clay some time because Clay just messed up his Achilles after he hurt his leg. So he might not come back all the way right. He might be sitting out like KD's been doing. 
So that's what I'm saying. You you gotta wait and see. You know, we 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 can't keep um we, we can't keep um how do I say it? We can't keep glorifying teams and then they, they really don't do nothing. Brooklyn still has to show they, they can make it through the East. And I think they can. I think they can they can they can win the East and I think they can win the championship, but it's gonna be tough. And they're gonna need all hands on deck to pull that off. But I don't I didn't see nothing wrong with Wiseman asking for um why wouldn't you ask KD or Kyrie Irving? They're probably two of the best closers or players, period. So you know. So you know you you gotta look at you gotta look at the big picture, man, and you gotta look at the big picture, and you gotta um, be honest with yourself. It's like, look, you have to, um, you you have to, you, you can't read too much into stuff. And I just wish Skip would stop bringing Michael Jordan up. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan helped those who he could, even if he even if he wasn't, you know, all the way cool with them and everything, you know. If it was somebody on another team, Mike may say something, but Mike Mike just gave pointers. If you asked him, Mike would tell you, and he'll go from there. You know, but Mike kept everything private. So, like I said, man, um, I don't see no problem with it. I just think the media had a slow day, so they tried to come up with something. Now, um, now let's see, um, what else happened? Mm. Kyrie Irving, man, might be the best, might be, it's an interesting question. Kyrie Irving or Kevin Durant? Who is more clutch? That was a great question somebody posed today on YouTube. I can't think of the guy's name. I think his name is Dream Sport. That was a great question. Shout out to Dream Sport because that was a great question. Is Kyrie Irving a better closer than Kevin Durant? You know, and I want you guys to answer it. I'll give it I'll probably make a video tomorrow or the day after explaining why I pick who I pick. But um let me know in the comment section who's the who's the biggest closer? Who's the best closer? Is it Kyrie or KD? So um thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you like what you hear, you can cash at me at the word welcome number two and in HDII TV. Thank you all for listening and continue to bless the page. We are out. Daisy!